already ticked off right now. So here is the fire pit that was delivered today. And uh, this is from Lowe's. Really nice fire pit that I uh, that I chose. And uh, yeah, this was supposed to be delivered Wednesday. I, I, uh, I went to the store over the weekend and I ordered it. Um, and the reason they said that they, they would deliver it on Wednesday assembled. As you can see clearly, it's not assembled. But uh, it gets worse. Um, today is Saturday, not Wednesday. So... I called back Wednesday when they didn't deliver it, and they said that the reason they didn't deliver it is because uh, the assembly crew had not come out, and they would come out on Thursday to deliver it. So then I said, okay, so it'll be, um, you know, delivered Thursday. They said, no, no, it's probably going to be delivered Friday because the crew is going to come out, and um, they're not going to have time to put it on the truck. So, you know, Thursday came and went, Friday Came and went, called Friday, and they said, oh, we don't even deliver on Friday. The truck is not around. Uh, it's going to have to be coming out on, on Saturday, and it'll be assembled, and it'll be on the truck Saturday. Well, today, Saturday, and this is what I got on Saturday. Where is the assembled one? They said, hey, you know, due to pandemic and everything, they don't know what's going on. They don't know where the uh, assembly people are, and if they want, you know, they can take it back on the truck and bring it back assembled whenever they get around to it. So I don't know how many days I have to work from home or take off for them to make up their mind on when they want to deliver this assembled. Well, I just called back and a lady, you know, called, talked to me, <laughs> put me on hold for quite a while and said, oh, they delivered the wrong box to you. Your, your fire pit is at our store in the back and we're waiting for the assembly guys to show up to assemble it. But we don't know if it'll come out today. We're gonna try, but we don't know. So not only do I have a box here, I can't open this box now, and I can't have my son assemble it because technically this is not my item. They delivered the wrong item to me. It's the same fire pit, as you can see. Uh, this is the fire pit I ordered, same box, everything. Uh, except this isn't my order. My order is supposedly in the back being assembled. Yeah. So I will keep you guys posted. So far, um, Lowe's, you get a failing grade for customer service, for delivery, uh, for not knowing what the heck you're doing from one person to the next. Uh, yeah, that little survey thing that they have in the on the bottom of the receipt, I'll be uh, answering it very truthfully. Um, the lady that was on the phone said, yeah, we'll uh, give you a discount and blah, blah, blah because of your inconvenience. So we'll see what they do. Uh, I had to pay a $79 delivery charge. This is what I got. It's in my, it's in my garage, as you can see, sitting here, 150 pounds that I can't move. Uh, I can't budge this really. Uh, so it's just sitting here because I thought it would be delivered assembled. Yeah. So I'll keep you guys posted um, and we'll see what happens. This is very, very frustrating. Um, you know, I went from Home Depot. They didn't have anything on the floor. That's the only reason I went to Lowe's and Lowe's has been doing really well here. Uh, as far as their sales and everything in the Atlanta area. So I thought I'd take a chance on them, but apparently this is what you get. Okay. Well, hey guys. Uh, yeah, I'm just up here. It is cleaning day today. So don't mind me. My hair is back and I am cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. The holidays are coming and uh, I am going to have my dad here, yay, for Thanksgiving, so he will be coming up. Uh, so let me continue with my story. I just wanted to pop on here and let you guys know what's going on with it and how it ended. Um, as you could tell by that video, I was pretty darn ticked off when uh, this was going on and they had delivered a 150-pound bulk 
box right in my garage and there was nothing I could do about it. I did call Lowe's back immediately that day and uh, they did discover, like I, I, I think I mentioned, they discovered that um, my actual um, uh, fire pit was in parts and pieces at their store and they were waiting for someone to put it together. And the lady that I had called this last time, the last time that I talked to them, was very helpful, very nice. I do have to say that. Uh, I'll give her credit where credit is due. And she made it a point that no matter what, however it has to be done, uh, they will put together my fire pit and have it delivered. And, of course, pick up the box with the other fire pit. Uh, she did tell me, do not open up the box, don't tamper with it, because technically it's really not my uh, fire pit. You know, basically, I've got two fire pits now, um, so I was I was good with that, and um, I think it was a manager that finally, uh, with his own like a delivery truck, managed to come by later on in the afternoon. I believe it was either Saturday afternoon or I don't think it was Sunday. It was late 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 Saturday afternoon. Brought the fire pit finally all in one piece with another guy and it was raining that day it was raining substantially it wasn't pouring but it was pretty pretty wet and um you know i made them i'm sorry but i made them uh go ahead and go in the back uh yard because that's where it was going to be and i had nobody else uh at home at the time to you know to to bring this fire pit to the backyard. They had put a cover over it, a plastic cover over it, the one that comes with the fire pit. So that wasn't an issue. It wasn't really getting wet, but I did not want them to just basically dump it in my driveway and have it be rained on there for hours and hours or till the next day till someone got around to moving it because I certainly wasn't able to do it. So they kind of rolled their eyes a little like, oh God, you know, we have to walk now in the rain in the back there. But, you know, they, they really didn't say no or grumble about it. Somebody is, oh, this is so funny. There's literally a, a caravan. This is crazy. There's a caravan of cars with balloons going through the street right this minute. I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear it? They are honking their horns. It's someone's birthday. This is hilarious. I'm going to stop the video to watch this and then I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, they're finally up the street and they left, but that was hilarious. The things that happen in my neighborhood, it's its so funny when I'm actually trying to uh, do videos and, and I look out my window and, and the craziest things happen, seriously, outside. If you are a subscriber to me, you know what that's about. Uh, okay, so getting back to where I was, um, they, they put it in the back. They didn't really grumble that much. They finally got it placed and... All is well. I finally have it there, and I'm going to put up, you know, prob well, probably on this side here, uh, some videos about uh, the fireplace running um, and how it looks like and everything. And I'll leave the actual fireplace model and description and all of that in the comments below. So if you guys uh, would like to purchase it from Lowe's or anywhere else, if you look up the Google, like the model number, you probably could get it on Amazon and, and such, you know, probably don't have to get it at Lowe's. Um, so in conclusion, um, and I'll show you some videos, by the way, of my son putting on the, uh, attaching the gas, the, the propane, and we did buy like an extra little gizmo. It's a, it's a meter that reads how much propane is in your, um, in your tank. So that's something you might want to purchase additionally. Just wanted to make mention of that. That does not come with the fire pit. You'll need to purchase that. And it's only like probably five or six bucks. It's really, really uh, inexpensive and well worth it. We have it in our uh, grill as well. And, you know, you can tell right away if your uh, gas is starting to go down and you need to, um, you know, fill your tank again. Would I purchase again from Lowe's? Um, you know, now that I've had a chance to calm down about it and cool down about it, 
I would say I would probably give them another chance with a big purchase item. Um, you know, I'm going to put it down to all this pandemic virus stuff that's going around. Uh, they seem to be um, disoriented and not have uh, their stuff together and scheduling together because I think that they couldn't schedule people to come into the store at the right times or maybe people were calling in and not showing up to work uh, because of it. Um, I think a lot of stores are having that issue. So I think we as consumers have to give them a little leeway in, in that they're trying their best to, you know, make a situation right. And they did, you know, do right by me. Uh, I never got like a discount. I know that this uh, one lady said, oh, you know, we'll give you, uh, you know, I guess re reimburse your delivery because of your, um, you know, all the stuff that you had to go through. I don't really care about that. I, I'm not going to pursue it. I'm not um, that kind of a person that will go, you know, nickel and diming people to death. I appreciate that she did uh, offer it though. So that's, that was a nice thing. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm just gonna, uh, go with it and put it down to an experience that has to do with this stupidity, um, and, and general angst that we are all going through right now because of this virus situation. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to put it down to that. Uh, luckily I don't have to purchase anything, uh, right now. So I'm okay with all that. Uh, I wanted to make mention that I did look at Home Depot first and try to see if there was anything there. They had not had anything on display. I, I don't really like to buy a big purchase item such as, you know, a dishwasher or, or um, I did, I actually, did I buy, I did want, buy my um, dryer sight unseen. I do want to mention that. But usually in big purchase items like a refrigerator, a dishwasher, uh, this fire pit or things like that, if I can, I, I do like to see it in person. I like to put in my mind the measurements, how big it is, kind of picture where it's going to go, if it's going to fit, um, is it made well, is it sturdy, kind of like they say kick the tires a little bit to see uh, if it's something that I want to purchase. I did see a variety of different models at Lowe's and I decided to go with this one. It wasn't the cheapest one, but I think it was the most well-made and the most sturdy. And uh, I just wanted something that lasts for a number of years. I didn't want to be going and purchasing things every other year because things break uh, if it's not well-made. So I was willing to, in, you know, to invest in that. But um, yeah, I... I think I, I will give them the, the benefit of the doubt. I will purchase other items from them. You know, I'm not putting them off the list or anything like that, crossing them off the list. So just wanted you guys to know that, but I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on what happened. And, you know, and a cautionary note in the times that we are right now, if you are in the market for a bigger purchase item in these uh, type of stores, uh, you want to make sure, uh, you know, ask all the questions, ask again and again uh, what's going on and, um, you know, how long it's going to take for them to deliver something, um, uh, you know, the cost, all of that. Um, you know, you want to make sure that um, you, an you, you ask all these questions beforehand because even though I asked a bunch of questions, but, you know, one didn't know what the other one was doing. Keep all your receipts. That's another thing I want to tell you. Don't don't discard any uh, emails or or text or anything that you get till you get your item because you you never know who you you know. T take down if you're calling uh, a customer service uh, number. Make sure that you uh, take down who you're talking to, the time and date that you're talking to them, and kind of recap what they said uh, so that you can call back and say, well, I talked to so-and-so at such and such date and time, and they said blah, blah to me. You know, not that that, you know, unless you have an audio recording they can say, oh, they are, they never said that, but, you know, at least it gives you some timestamp of what uh, you've 
been dealing with and who you've been dealing with okay so that's all i wanted to say thank you so much again for stopping by i'm going to go back to my cleaning i've got my little polaroid shirt on and uh scrub 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 and make things right here because there's a lot of stuff going on um I don't know how busy I'm going to be during the holidays. I do have a deadline at work that I have to get done. Uh, plus, you know, I, I will have my dad here, so I do plan to spend time with him. I'll try to do a couple more videos and put them up here. But, um, you know, if you don't see me around like every few days or whatever, it's because of that. Don't worry. I'm, I'm still here. Uh, I'm trying my best. But, um, you know, I, I can't pull my myself too thin uh, because you know it just doesn't work out that way it's not healthy for anyone to work that hard and do that many things so uh, bear with me I will be putting up videos I love you very much and I will see you in my next video bye